This is MQTT communication using an ESP8266 device running MicroPython and the Mosquito MQTT broker. Notably, you will need OpenSSL DLLs as well as a threading DLL that can be downloaded from the links here. You will also need the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable for a 32-bit system. To install Mosquito in Windows 10, you will need to download a current binary from the Mosquito website. The Mosquito installer will prompt you to download the OpenSSL package and the threading packages. I found that the OpenSSL package didn't include all of the DLLs that the program ended up requiring. There is a readme file in the Mosquito root directory that has more specific instructions, and it may not be required to install the OpenSSL package indicated by the installer. As mentioned, you will need to download the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package. You'll need the 32-bit version, even if you have a 64-bit machine. You can get that from the link here. The remaining two DLLs that Mosquito requires can be downloaded from the link here. These are the libeay32 DLL and the sslei32 DLL. You can customize the configuration of Mosquito through a configuration file. For our purposes, we'll be using the default configuration. You'll need to make sure that you allow Mosquito through your firewall. By default, it will try to communicate through ports 1883. You can change this in the configuration file. Now that you have Mosquito installed, you can run it by executing the Mosquito executable. You can then check if it's opened up the ports by using netstat. This will indicate that Mosquito is running and waiting for a connection through port 1883. Open a new command prompt and run the Mosquito sub executable. This will subscribe you to start listening for any communications that have been made to the MQTT broker. Now that you've subscribed and started listening, open a fourth command prompt and in this command prompt, you're going to communicate to your MQTT broker. To do this, use the Mosquito underscore pub executable. Once complete, Return to the third command prompt and you should see that your message that we've just published has been received. The next step is to get the ESP communicating via MQTT. With your ESP, you will need to program it with MicroPython. If you haven't done this before, you can follow the link below to watch a video on how to achieve this. Now that you have MicroPython on your ESP8266, Download the PyCom library from the link below. You will need to extract the mqtt.py file from this library. You will need to extract the mqtt.py file from this library. You can then upload the file to your ESP8266 device. The way I did this was using the web REPL, which allows you to easily upload files to your ESP device. We're only going to use a couple of functions from the mqtt.py file. The client and the publish functions. Using web REPL, the first thing we'll do is import the mqtt client. Then we'll create a client object passing our unique device name. In this case, I've called it ESP8266 and the host name of the server that's running Mosquito. For us, that's 192.168. Four, two. Then we're going to call the client connect command. We'll run the client.publish command with the first argument being the community we want this message to belong to and the second argument being the actual message. Turning to our third command prompt, we can see that the message that we published from our ESP device has appeared at the bottom of the list. A simple way to set up logging for the MQTT system we have in place is to pipe the mosquito underscore sub executable to a file. See the results of this command have published all the received data to a text file. We'll stop here, but it's worth noting 
that the Mosquito package includes an executable to create user accounts, the Mosquito underscore PASSWD. You can enable this through the configuration file.